Hello, well we're down at Hordle Lakes in Hampshire today and I'm here with my good friend Duncan Charman. Now this lake's mainly known for its carp, uh, but we're here today to fish for the roach, which will run to well over two pounds. So we're going to be looking at uh, a modified helicopter setup with maggot feeders, which is a really good tactic to use for, for big roach and I've caught some of my biggest on it. So join us and see how we get on. Hordle Lakes Fishery is set on the edge of the New Forest, close to the village of New Milton. The complex consists of seven lakes and today we're going to be fishing the largest of these, Bob's Lake. Best known as a carp fishery, Hordle also contains some fantastic sport with other species too. You can find out more about the fishing here at www.hordlelakes.co.uk Well, money just really getting sorted out and straight and had a bite straight away, had a small carp and then a couple of small roach and now a bit bigger one. So got him resting in the net. Let's have a look, see what we got. This is what we're after. Could do with one a bit bigger than this, but it'll do for starters. Here we are. I don't know, fish. Whoop, probably about a pound or so. Absolute mint looking roach. Lively. Water temperature is starting to come up now. They're really lively. There we go. Hopefully we'll catch a few more, maybe some bigger ones, but hell me. There we go. That's what we want to start with. If you've um, been fishing for big roach in the last few years, then the chances are you'd use a helicopter feeder. It's a great method because one of the things you get with roach is often they'll pick up and drop baits very quickly, so the short hook length really works to your favour. As you can see with these fish underwater, a lot of the time they're just moving around quite slowly, intercepting bits of food and then spitting it out what they don't want. With the helicopter feeder what happens is you get a bite straight away, it acts as a bolt rig really, hooks the fish and off it goes and you get these really fantastic drop back bites normally as the fish dislodges the feeder and um, the line goes slack and then will pull tight but to be honest all you need to do is pick the rod up and it's uh, the fish is already hooked. Now I use um, normally a six pound main line um, and then a feeder that weighs from between 30 and 50 grams really depending on how far I have to cast. The rigs I keep really short no more than about four inches, three would be about right. Um, size 18 hook um, with two maggots and then a size uh, 16 for three maggots. Three pound fluorocarbon normally, which I like the stiffness of, it just helps stop tangles and I like the hook length to be as close to the feeder as I can possibly get it. It's a very simple tactic and works really, really well. On the cast, what you'll find is the, the hook length tends to spin um, and that helps avoid tangles, even if you have the hook Level with the feeder you'll find tangles are very very rare and you won't have a problem. Uh, might tangle up on the return, on, on a, re a retrieve but don't worry about that too much, it works really well. So there you go, the maggot feeder. Well the rig I'm using is very similar to Paul apart from I'm using a cage feeder. What I'm actually doing is putting some ground bait in, plugging some maggots in there, just pushing it all down. You've got to work quick. And the other 
difference is I'm fishing to open water and as a result I'm catching sort of five pound bream where Paul's fishing to a feature and he's catching carp, roach and a few perch. And the other thing is I've just started dipping this in hemp oil and the lovely thing is it just seems to work. It's just a little bit of confidence and since I've been doing that I've increased my catch rate massively. Proper mixed fishery down here at Hordale. We've had carp, bream, quality roach. There's plenty of these in here as well. One of my favourite species. something I religiously do now as part of my angling is I want to be dropping a feeder bang on the same mark every time. So I'm using these sticks just to mark out X amount of rod lengths and I'm fishing at 10 rod lengths on both rods. And these sticks are just brilliant for doing that. Just keep doing it until you come to 10, 9, 10, I'm there, you just then use the, the wheel clip, put your line in there and then wind it back. I do this quite slowly because if you do it quick it all comes off, it'll be a bit of a, a mess. And then what I'm doing when I get to my swim is I'm just standing three kind of like steps back, casting out, hitting the clip, sinking the line sitting next to me rod so I'm leaving the clip on don't walk away and just walk forward put the rod on the alarm bobbin and as you get a bite you just walk up pick the rod up and happy day well how about that for a pristine roach that's the kind of fish we've come here for today a couple of years time, I suspect they'll be two pounders. So I hope that was interesting. Thanks for watching the film and we'll see you again soon. Cheers for now.